it freaking snowed. So the big problem with these square body Chevrolets is these stock stock headlights don't put enough lumens out. So we're gonna replace these with some high quality LEDs straight from Amazon Prime. And we're gonna burn your eye socket. Now if you look in here, we got a big old pile of LED pods and a bunch of little trinkets to uh, attach it to the truck. So we got all this bracketry and lights. We're gonna rip, we're gonna leave these bottom ones. Somebody wired this up completely wrong. These are turn signals when they're not supposed to be, I don't think. And these are the only headlights, high and low beam. So we're gonna rip these things out. We're gonna pack two LED pods per hole for headlights. So you gotta take off this piece right here. It had two tin screws in the top and two in the bottom. So that's out. Now there's uh, four Phillips heads. You can't even really see it, but there, 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 and there. Oh, yeah. Oh. We won't even need these, will we? Mm. I don't think so. Somebody on here is looking for some headlight caps. Uh, you can hit me up on Instagram. $25 a piece. Rough free low miles. So then we got this, the old halogen Sylvania. Oh my goodness, we just rotted right on. <laughs> no, I have it on the ground. And just like that, got a bunch of room for some LEDs. In stock. <laughs> Good thing we have a couple on the shelf. So we got a. I think if we get just not quite the room I expected. One is definitely not enough. We have to have two in there. I think if we go to the town, get some JB Weld, and stuff them in there, we'll be okay. I think we're gonna rip these mounts off. Yeah, or we're you gonna can move them, can't you? Yeah, but not, not in the way we want. Let's see what we have for bracket. So yeah, so the brackets go to this. This is just not effective whatsoever. This is like restricting candle power. I need to get that out of here. Yeah, we get that and that. Maybe we just need to hack this up a little bit. Just take that bump right out of there. So we're not. Yeah, it's not like we have to aim it. Stuff that sucker in there. Huh. Yeah. Yep. I have a good idea. Oh. Oh, okay. Kind of got an exhaust ring in there for it. There you go. Now we're talking. Just how Chevrolet would have done back in the day. Now we could just mount it outside right here, screw right into that subframe cross just member. Make sure it's in the bezel. Yeah. I mean, we can always just break that off, yeah, break it open a little bit. Yeah. Persuasion tool to it. Oh god, yeah. Wait, no. Oh yeah, put it this way. Put it this way. Hog that puppy into there. Via some self tappers. And we're looking golden. So now we got both LEDs mounted somewhat solid with a custom piece of flat stock behind it. Don't get too zoomed in on that. We don't want people to see the imperfections. But we gotta get this lined up. But that looks pretty freaking okay. I'm gonna throw a pin screw in there. I don't know why these are eight miles long. Use what you have, man. I didn't put this together like this. <laughs> this was like this. Just so people know. That's what they all say. Yeah, I know, but. This, I'm being truthful about this one. I'm not even lying. I'm just gonna slap these puppies in. 
strip them out quick with the high horsepower Milwaukee three ace electric impact. Not a plug. <laughs> <laughs> I know there's probably going to be like, my freaking keyboard warriors, my DeWalt 3.8 has more power. My Makita. My, my Makita is 250 inch pounds of torque. That Milwaukee only has 250 foot pounds of torque. Hearts from Walmart, that's the same thing. Price. My Harbor Freight impacts way better. That's stripped out real nice, but it's in there. Dude, honestly, that looks really good. Yeah. Like, come back from a distance. Now they just need to be wired in. Our oh, yeah. stock. <laughs> For, <laughs> don't look at this. This is this didn't just break. That was not my doing at all. Somebody it's, else did that. It's for the for the light. All the camera powers. I don't even know what that light's for. Or why it's there. But yes. FFS man, far, far from, from stock. We gotta get some far from stock stickers on here. Yeah, we gotta get some. You know what we should do? We should uh, do a little. Uh, I don't know what we call it. We need a request from a subscriber. If you have any cool stickers, we're gonna put them on this truck. Far from stock. Um, what else can we put on here? Or I could just go buy the stickers. But then I don't want to be the dude that goes and buys stickers to put on his truck. Yeah. I mean, if they come with something free, I'll throw them on. Oh, hey, we'll do this. It'll be like on Talladega Nights. If you sponsor the channel, we'll put your sticker wherever you want on the truck. <laughs> be like a big old Wonder Bread right on the yeah. right on the windshield. Uh, cougar. What? Be a cougar. A cougar, yeah, in the passenger seat. Preferably yeah. over 50. <laughs> <laughs> and, um, yeah. Now we just got to plug. So based on colors here, I think we can figure this out. Gonna strip it back a little. Oh yeah, green is turn signal. I know that for free. And I would assume, so like on semis, white is ground, but I would say black is ground. And these two are positive. Wait, what the, that doesn't make any sense, green. I'm, I'm guessing one's high beam and one's low beam. Cause they both will switch to high beam. I mean. But these these are both for this, on the same terminal. Yeah. Green is usually turn signal. So why is that not right? Get the freaking uh, power probe for me out. I don't have one here. Not it's at work. The test light. I don't even think the test light works, to be honest with you. Well, <laughs> <laughs> the test light doesn't work. We'll just start hooking stuff up. I think if we just hook, go, if we guess. So I would say regardless black is going to be ground on this so we're just going to twist all these together in one mm -hmm. and then we're going to plug it in because high beam and low beam it doesn't matter leds are always on high beam because i mean it's all in the it's, it's all in the uh it's all in the lumens yeah, all in the candle powers man all in the lumens what do you mean for crimping or you, uh... so like i'm saying like the crimp part of this thing is just junk don't ever buy these from advanced auto or car quest they're junk not worth your time. Go snap on. No, I wouldn't buy a snap on. <laughs> snap on's overpriced shit too. Pay for the name, man. Snap on's got good tools, but they're too much money for what they are. So we're looking at. Wanna see how good my stripping skills are? The thing is, I'm used to using a clapped out. When you, you cut some quarter inch bolts with it and it's a little slopped out. I'm used to using clapped out. Oh, you know, we're ripping on snap on, but I'm literally <laughs> using a snap on side cutter. But no, I'm used to using like clapped out side cutters that have a lot of play in them. Mm -hmm. So I can just like kind of free ball it when I'm stripping. Okay, we don't want that much out. Oh man, this is just too good. You give it a little. Look at that, dude. This like. <laughs> either that the wires are from. They're I guess. From the 80s. Yeah, look at that. That's that does <laughs> that deserves a subscribe right there. Stripping with a snap on side players, side cutters. <laughs> Not every day you see someone do something like that. They're all done. All in one. We just need some butt connectors. In stock. 
Yeah. Of course. Oh yeah. This is what you need. We don't have, we don't half-ass anything around here. We full-ass everything. Well, that's not all the way in there. But it passes the pull test. All right, right now, fire him up. Now for the moment of truth. Holy oh, fuck. Jesus. Now oh, that's okay. Do like a side by side, dude. Like my, I think our. Uh, I think this is passing the test. This is literally gonna burn my eyes out. The goal was to burn our corneas out, or some other part of your eye. Well, burn your eye sockets out. And so far, with only one of them on, it's burning my eyes out. Imagine two more on this side. Look at this factory waterlogged. Slovenia. Light. Yeah, Slovenia. I mean, freaking versus that. That freaking camera is probably going hair wire. Hair wire. <laughs> hair wire. That's burning their eye sockets off. Yeah. And that's burning their eye sockets out right from home. Users with users with glasses. Yeah. Here, should I hit the high beam? Oh god. Oh, look at the difference. <laughs> Dude, the freaking horns burned out. <laughs> T model. <laughs> All right, so now we've got it down to a science. These are fresh installed. Yeah, let's get, get to zoom in on there. Fresh installed, perfectly square, almost factory looking, but better. Now we can just like hammer one side out. Just like a NASCAR pit stop. Just, just ah oh shit. <laughs> we need a swivel or something. Right here, uh, this rusty one, that's what I wanted. That crusty stuff. See, you know, why did I think about using these sockets before? We weren't, we weren't using our thunkers there, guy. Got the... Four, count them, four Phillips head screws. I don't know where that one went. Throw them in the pile. with the Slovenia. Now, Slovenia is out. This comes out like that. Boom! Your yeah. And this comes out super easily with the assistance. Oh, I don't want to wreck the grill. What did I do last time? Right under there. Under there. That's one side. Pry on the lower beam. You want to get that spring. Just like that. It's off. You see? Yeah. Just like that. And it's ready for some LEDs. And if you look at that, we got two LEDs there. We got two LEDs there. Sorry this video is kind of boring. It wasn't anything special, but got some bright headlights. Now we can do some wheeling outside in the dark. And yeah, so I'm going to do, I've got a ton of pods left. I'm thinking about replacing these KC cage lights. The cage fell off the other one. Taking these off and putting LEDs there. I know the KCs really suit the, the look of the air of the truck, but LEDs are just like, far superior in technology and they actually put out light so I think I'm gonna put two pods there one on each side and then once I get the bed done I want to get some rear facing lights that's gonna be another future upload I gotta be doing that bed soon and we're gonna put the fuel cell in the back because for now all I'm doing is slapping this little fuel tank on here it's just a gas can with my fuel uh, suction and return line just plumbed right in there so we're gonna rip that bad boy off, uh, get a flat bed, a, build an off-road bed of some sort, and uh, get the fuel cell. I'm gonna put the battery back here because I put a bigger battery in it and I can't shut the hood because it sticks up too high. <laughs> so yeah, 
bunch more videos planned on this truck so you're gonna want to stay tuned and uh see you guys next sunday